Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101. So we're about to hit another milestone. Uh, we're about to reach 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And as a thank you, I'm um, giving away another material pack. Uh, this time it's going to be a metal shader uh, for use in your Blender projects. And uh, this can be used in Cycles and uh, EV. Uh, so let's look at the, the different materials we have here, uh, all shaders and uh, see also how you can use this uh, so you can see this is a metal a brush metal with a few scratches and uh, we also have this here uh, you can change the color uh, to give it uh, what to, to to give it the look you want and uh, also you can play around with the different uh, with it with the uh, with the different uh, i think uh, nodes here uh, to get to achieve any look you want or uh, maybe you want this to be more eroded uh, than it is you can do that so you can see making it more eroded like that or less eroded uh, we also have this here uh, which is the same as this but uh, it has uh, faded edges other uh, eroded edges so we also have this brushed metal without any scratches and uh, we also have uh, this kind of a uh, copper uh, type of metal but uh, with a uh, different scratches uh, than all the other metals so again you can increase or decrease how strong are those uh, scratches are uh, and uh, we have this here and uh, this is this was just to show off uh, the the cavity map for these shaders and uh, the amino occlusion for these shaders uh, so to make use of these shaders you're going to need uh, two maps you're going to need a, an ambient occlusion map and a cavity map uh, for you to use uh, because uh, they are used to calculate uh, where the sharp uh, the sharpness is on your object so you need to bake out uh, those uh, two maps are uh, the ambient occlusion and uh, cavity map our cavity map is just a map that uh, shows blender where the sharpness of an object is uh, like you see on this object so i have another shader here which is just a cavity map uh, baker so if you tried to use any of these uh, shaders on any object directly uh, it won't work correctly so i added this uh, cavity map ma maker because you need a cavity map uh, to be to use uh, these shaders correctly so I have another project here open and uh, you can see we have this object here so if I cop I copy a material like let me get this one here be because it can it, sh it easily shows you where the edges are so if I copy this control C and then go to this project control V Uh, let me go to textured mode or rendered mode and so if I try to copy this material onto this so this material is called cavity map uh, if I select this object and try to use uh, the cavity map you can see that uh, everything is going is messed up the shaders looks make messed up uh, this is because this object here doesn't have its own cavity map uh, to tell blender where this the edges are uh, that's why you see that uh, uh, the shader is putting the edges in the wrong places so you would need to bake out uh, the cavity map uh, for this object and then apply the shader so that's why i added this shader this cavity map baker so to, to utilize that just copy the object you want uh, let me first remove this copy it ctrl c i uh, paste it in this project uh, the reason i want you to pre to paste it in this project because uh, this project has all the big uh, settings as uh, so for you to easily use it uh, so just paste the object there let me move it up here also make sure that uh, your object has your this and uh, this has some simple uvs using our uh, smart uvs uv projection so then select this object then uh, this shader is called cavity ma cavity map baker so just apply it to this object so cavity map maker and then hit bake so it shouldn't take long it should take out just a few minutes to bake 
to bake out the cavity map and uh, you have your cavity map baked now so now you can apply this material to this so uh, this is called cavity map so i'll select this and uh, change it to cavity map but you can see that uh, it's still using uh, the wrong cavity map uh, so i'm just going to duplicate this uh, material so that we don't affect uh, the original the original material and then come back to this here uh, you can see the cavity map is using i wanted to use this back to cavity map so i'll select it from this drop down menu so it's called back to is it so there is a bug in blender uh, that uh, when when you back out uh, something uh, the name doesn't change th doesn't update when you change uh, that when you change uh, the uh, the texture here so let's save this maybe on the desktop so that this doesn't come shaped in the in the project so let me put it somewhere on a desktop here I call it C M for cavity map and now I can navigate to that where is that okay it's here you can see the name is still that and uh, oh another thing uh, the problem is we're applying the material uh, this cavity map to a different material instead of this one to the wrong object so this should still use uh, the cavity map the original cavity map should I cavity map and uh, uh, this is the this is the one to use our CM cavity map we, are, we have just created so let me find that again so that should be on a desktop CM you can see now how that is working correctly and uh, so now that you ha we have the cavity map set for this a uh, baked for this object uh, we can you can choose any other material you want so maybe this scratches for and uh, apply that to this but again you need to switch out uh, the texture map uh, the cavity map for this again so let me first duplicate this so that I don't affect uh, the original uh, shader and uh, switch out the cavity map again the cavity map for this is on the desktop so I'll search for that and you can see how that is affecting how that is being applied to our object uh, let's uh, if you want to use this uh, this uses ambient occlusion uh, so you would need to bake out the ambient occlusion for this and uh, apply that uh, to and switch it out uh, for that shader uh, so yeah I'll be I'll upload this uh, to my patreon page and my uh, website uh, blender one on one dot com so that you can download them for free you don't have to sign up or anything you just have to download them uh, you just download them directly uh, so if you are new here you can subscribe for more things like this and more tutorials I'll also be making a tutorial on how I made every shader here I uh, can see again you can come in here and uh, look at the project file and examine the different nodes I will have here all these textures are going to be packed into the blend file let me do that right now uh, so you only be downloading the blend file and and it will come with all the textures so again if you just copy this and uh, paste it back into your project it should work fine where is it where did i paste it okay so it's up here you can see it works fine yeah, so that's it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.